good morning friends how are you today it's Rhonda I'm back on Monday morning I wanted to chat with you today about something kind of fun that we can do to kind of spice up what's happening in our world especially in our clinics and so I'm uh, it's sunny and warm outside I'm actually I almost took my camera and went er, outside to sit but I didn't want it to be too distracting and wiggly for you so I'm uh, I'm looking, enjoying the sunshine. You can see from my tan and my tank top. Oh man, in Las Vegas, this is the best time of the year. So anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to talk to you about the vibe of your clinic. And it's so, so important that you think about this when you're creating the atmosphere of your clinic. Because really your vibe kind of is your atmosphere. When you have a, an atmosphere that, let's just say it's very sterile. And we're gonna use some comparisons, okay? So if you're, the, the atmosphere or the kind of feel vibey thing going on in your clinic, if it's very sterile, like doctor room, doctor's office kind of sterile, it's quiet, there's no music, the magazines are laid out very perfectly, the walls are perfectly white, everything is fine, there's a glass sliding door that you have to check in with the receptionist, there's no warmth, no feel, none of the all the feel stuff, right? None of that's going on. Patients that love that kind of environment, that's where they're gonna feel most comfortable. It makes sense. For those of us that are in our world, like doing what we do, we're like, Mah, we don't want that. And I know none of you have that, but I wanted to give a comparison. So there's one side. The flip side is that you've got a clinic who it's never runs on time. Everything's kind of a mess. You got dogs and cats running around. Your receptionist is checking her phone while she's work. It's kind of the, you know, the laid back, you know, I always think of that. And this is, I mean, no ill by this. I think, oh, this is like what it would be in Hawaii. Like you're just kind of on the, the chill island sort of mode. Like nothing really matters. There's the extreme on the other side, which is the vibe of the clinic is so laid back that nobody really cares if anything's on time or not. You don't want to do that either. But somewhere in the middle of all of that, you're going to find the thing that makes you feel comfortable at home. And it's really an environment where you can th thrive and flourish as a clinician, as a business owner. When you create that environment, that's really an extension of who you are. It's an extension of your personality. It's an extension of who you want to be for your patients. It's not something that you feel like you have to be. Oh, well, you know, I've always thought that every waiting room had to have six chairs in it and two plants and they had to, no, 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 no. You get to fix that vibe of your clinic however you want. And it's the way that patients are going to interact with you. It's actually their first impression when they walk in the door. What do they see? Is it sterile or is it you know, all laid back and kicked back and you've got patchouli burning or sage or something, I don't know. Somewhere in the middle there, you're gonna find your happy medium. Some of you may be more comfortable with that real, you know, in tight, like, you know, you want everything kind of lined up. Some of you are gonna be more comfortable when there's kind of some, you got some dancing music going on, it's kind of a beat. You maybe have a dog that you bring in that that's kind of like your staff or your office dog. And that dog comes in and greets every patient. And that might be more your, your speed, your vibe. But whatever it is, I want you to think about that from the point that you walk in the front doors of your clinic what is the vibe that you're conveying? What do they feel when they walk in? Do they, your patients feel warm and welcome? Do they feel happy? Or are they just like relegated to sort of just sit? Does the music that's playing in your office, and I recommend everyone always has some kind of music playing, and try and get that 432 hertz music. So it's very healing, it's very soothing. So you can do more research on that if you want to, but look for something that's in 432 if you can, and then have that music playing. Let the patient just relax and let that healing start the minute they walk in the door. So now, if you are a practitioner and you say, but wait, Rhonda, I don't have a clinic. I don't even have one, I'm all online. That's okay. You still have a vibe or kind of a presence, an attitude, I'll call it. Not like a bad attitude, but you've got an attitude. You've got a thing, a way that you communicate with people. You wanna make sure that your emails communicate warmth and healing and the vibe that you want. If you want a very sterile environment, then your emails and your communication to your patients are gonna be very sterile, right? They're gonna be yes, no, 
Here's your answer. Bye-bye. See you next time. And I don't think that's what any of us want. So regardless of whether you have an in-office clinic or whether you have, uh, you're all virtual, you still have that vibe that you're gonna do. You still have that kind of attitude that you wanna convey to your patients. Really think about that. Pay attention to what does it feel like in your treatment room? How does it feel? How do you want your patients to feel? If you're a chiropractor and you have an open treatment model, how does that make them feel? Do they feel welcome, comfortable, able to like, Ah, relax, or does it just feel like everybody's running through, like lickety split, through, through, through? Do you really want that? Just every little aspect of that patient experience as it has to do with the feeling in your office. I know, it sounds a little like doo -doo -doo, esoteric, kind of woo-woo-ish, but I don't mean it that way. Some people might like it that way. That's kind of not my speed, but it might be your speed and it's okay. Do you, man, do you. You stay in your lane, you do you, bro. You can do what's right for you. So find that vibe, then go after, start making some small changes. It might be getting a little speaker and leaving it in your office, in your front waiting area and having you know, that 432 hertz music going all the time. So it's very healing. It might be that when someone calls your office, you want to have some kind of music playing for them to, while they're on hold. That's all part of that experience as it has to do with just communicating who you are, your vibe, and what you want your patient to feel at the end of the day. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. Watch for some big changes coming up. We've got some cool things happening over here. And uh, have a great rest of the week. I told you I would be on last week and I forgot. I'm not going to forget again this week. I already have it on my calendar. So you watch. I'm going to go live a few more times this week. All right, guys, take care. Have Make it an awesome week. Don't forget, podcast comes out tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you on here next week. Bye.